Let's do something on the bus. I came inside because I needed to see like somebody else uh, who'd done this. And this is Transcend Existence who has converted an awesome bus. Uh, he's got the same thing going on. A little bit less crazy than mine. There it is, finished product. But it's still obviously a lot of work. I'm excited to see what Wes, I think. Let's see what he does. Then I'm gonna feel inspired to do it my, oh, huge saw, okay. Looks pretty good. What's that, a angle grinder or a random orbital sander? God, that looks like a lot of work, but the end product's great. You're a funny guy, Wes. A thunderstorm would probably stop most people from doing this, but it didn't stop Lieutenant Dan and Forrest Gump, and it's not gonna stop me. Hey guys, welcome back. Once again, I just couldn't film today. The work was too overwhelming. The thought of filming or editing was too much. No, I'm not halfway done. I'm probably like a third of the way done. This is what it looks like so far. Over here, it's relatively finished. Over here, it's absolutely not. And I got some long, hard days ahead of me. Is this a good hairdo for me? This is the minimum PP for this job. A good quality respirator, good quality goggles. Those chemistry goggles I had yesterday were not good enough. I would also consider some kind of a hood to protect your ears, but it's 95 in the bus. Sorry ears. You know, my spray foam trimming it really is not going that bad. But I have this huge problem, and that is that the spray foam has bumped out my conduit and even my electrical lines significantly. I can only think of two solutions. I have to somehow cut all this out, and really it doesn't cut too easily and I might damage the electric wires. I feel like that's at least an extra day's work. Okay, alternative solution. It's already starting to feel like a no-brainer. This run, and obviously also this run, then I don't even need to worry about getting this section or this section perfect. And most importantly, all this stuff cleaned out. Look at that, I made the perfect wiring chase. You live and you learn. So this is a quick and easy solution. I can't believe it's thunderstorming again. I gotta close this bus up to keep working. Man, the only drawback here is that I would lose a little bit of headspace in the shower. I gotta go clean up my tools. Alright. Hey mama. Where are, oh, there you are. It is day three of spray foam. God, it's hot in here. Man. All right, it's day three of spray, God damn it, it's hot. Day three, spray, oh, my lens fogged up. Jeez, I gotta get the thermometer in here. I really, really, really wish I could say this is the last day I'm gonna be sp trimming spray foam. If this contractor had done a great job, I would have had good coverage, I would have had some overspray. I would have had a couple days of disgusting trimming and then I would be able to put up all the walls and ceiling. That's not what I got. I got a whole wall panel that's missed. I have whole spots that are completely missed. I've got little areas with bad coverage, like this kind of stuff. It's really tempting to just ignore that, put up the walls and ceiling. I would love to do that. I wish that that was more in my nature, but it's not. I'm a thorough, usually, critical, always, person, and I expect the best out of people, which, you know, you're not always gonna get.
And I need to get this camera out of here. I can't handle all this stuff. Just sorry, I can't film this for you. But you're probably sick of seeing this anyway. I think I'm finally done. So I gotta clean this up now. To do that, I have our friend D-Bot. I believe in you, buddy. You can do it. Okay, I'm sorry. That would be certain death for you. I don't think I can tell you with certainty that spray foam is done. Three days into this, and it's not perfect, but I'm done. It's been 97 degrees or more in here all day, and there's something I've been dying to do, so I'm gonna go do it. Oh, your eyes are like honey, your chin is like gold, and your mouth is a memory that will not let go. He never actually said so, but I think he made his peace with spray foam. I've been wanting to do that all week. I do wish I could stick around for sunset. I gotta go get Val at the airport. Let's do something on the bus. How does he say it? Let's do something on the bus. He's given me a job on the bus and he's going to stay with the baby inside which is my normal duty and I'm going to be filling in all the gaps where the spray foamers miss with this Loctite foam. Here we go. Pilaf, what is it? Oh, a giant skink. Nice. Ooh, Pilaf would love to get his mouth around that. Ooh, that sounded inappropriate. Okay, enough distractions. I got to get to work. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can tell, but this is a ton of fun. Oh, oh, this looks delicious. Makes me want dessert. In here, there's a big hole. I can see the roof, practically. Okay, let me get in there with this. Wow. Oh, dang, that was a deep one. Mm-hmm, that's satisfying. Oh, you got some in your hair, baby. Turn around. I don't know what happened there. Dang it. Wow. I'm not doing that great of a job if it's just falling down like this. And it's getting rigid. <laughs> There's a learning curve to this and I'm already doing a little bit better than I was five minutes ago, but I'm still not doing a great job. I think Justin really just wants me to hit all the spots of metal that are exposed because that's the worst part, but there's a couple of these big gaps behind the trim. And you can just tell that it's so hollow back there. I can't really see anything now with these goggles on. I don't know if you can tell. Probably look pretty cute in this outfit though right now. <laughs> I 
You don't want to get out of the shower and be freezing your nips off. 